After inserting and aligning your plans in the project, we'll need to copy the contours and spots and turn them into Mudshark Takeoff. This process is the same for both the existing and the proposed site. Just select the appropriate site stage beforehand. We also recommend adjusting plan visibility before starting. Here I'm hiding all the layers in the plan that don't contain either spot elevations or contours. Starting with spots, click on spot elevations from the ribbon. Once selected, type out the next altitude and left click in the viewport to create a new spot. When placing multiple spots, simply input your numbers from the viewport. No need to click the input box every time. If at any point you click outside of the viewport however, you'll need to click inside the viewport again to re-enable this feature. If you happen to have a tin or triangulated mesh in your plan, this can be transmuted into spots. With spot elevation selected, click on transmute from the drawing menu, then select the tin plan layer from the window on the right. This will create a spot elevation for every vertex on the mesh. The takeoff process for contours is very similar, with a few extra tools to speed up input. Click on contours from the ribbon, and again start by entering your altitude. The most basic form of takeoff is by tracing each contour manually. This is done using Mudshark's polyline tool. If you're unfamiliar, refer to our polyline tutorial, linked in the description below. If you're working with a PDF plan, you can transmute contours by selecting Transmute from the drawing menu, then simply clicking on the contour in the viewport. The quality of your transmuted line is only as good as the plan itself, so always verify takeoff when using the Transmute tool to ensure accurate results. While you could manually enter the altitude for each contour, we recommend taking advantage of the altitude increment feature. First, enter an increment value and direction. After creating each contour, the next altitude will change automatically. If the direction of your slope changes, you can change the slope direction by clicking the button at any time. The next altitude will adjust accordingly. Finally, if you have a plan with 3D contour data, you can transmute all of this into takeoff quickly by selecting the Transmute tool, then clicking on the layer from the window on the right. 